Hi, my name is Cheyenne Burles, and you are watching The Buzz, Emporia State University's bi-weekly information and news broadcast brought to you by The Bulletin, the voice of the students since 1901. Suspected gunman Ricardo Castillo was arrested last night after a domestic disturbance on the 1100 block of Mechanic Street. Shots were heard from campus as at least one student has reported having heard the shots. Police responded to the incident and detained Castillo. No weapons were found. The RAVE system, which involves a text messaging service designed to inform students about such incidents, was not utilized. Students and staff met Monday at the Kanza Room in the Memorial Union to discuss Four Little Girls, a documentary film surrounding the bombing of a Birmingham church in 1963 during the Civil Rights Movement. The film was the second of the three-part Dream Act series. The events are intended to spark discussion regarding diversity here at Emporia State and abroad. The next event, a diversity dialogue, will be held tonight at 7 p.m. in the Kansa Room in the Memorial Union. It is free of charge and open to all students, staff, and faculty. Cal Shocker Bordy, ESU Professor of Economics, was honored with the Jewel of India Award January 25th. The award is given by the Non-Resident Indians Welfare Society in recognition of his achievements as a native Indian abroad. The recipient of the Jewel of India is selected based on a criteria of outstanding contribution, services, achievements, and accomplishments. Professor Chakraborty has been a part of the ESU faculty since 2000. On behalf of Hornets Everywhere, congratulations, Professor. Looking ahead, Emporia State will celebrate its 150th year on February 15th at 7 p.m. at Webb Hall in the Memorial Union. The gala will fe feature various student talents showcasing the best of Emporia State has to offer. There will be live performances throughout the night from musical ensembles of Emporia State as well as food, an open bar, and a surprise signature cocktail. This event is $75 for one person or 150 for a couple. This is a black tie optional affair. Reservations must be made by today and can be done by phone or online. Check our description box for more information. The Dakota Ducey 5K Walk and Run will take place Saturday, February 16th at 9 a.m. at the East Memorial Union parking lot. The race is a fund raising event for Dakota Ducey a junior secondary English major who was taken to Kansas University Medical Center in Kansas City over winter break to address a stroke caused by a rare congenital vascular defect. Donation jars are available throughout the Memorial Union, William Allen White Library, and businesses like Snip and Clip, Wheat State Pizza, Ideal Nutrition, and Textbook Corner. In sports, Lady Hornet basketball will be Northwest Missouri last Saturday, 72 to 58. Rachel Humpf had a stellar game with 20 points and nine rebounds. This is the third straight game Humpf has scored at least 20 points. The first time this has been done by a Lady Hornet since Allie Vulcans in the 2010-2011 season. The win brings their overall record to 12 and six. The Lady Hornets' next game is tonight at 5.30 in White Auditorium against Lincoln University of Missouri. Good luck, ladies. Coming off a bad loss to Nebraska Kearney last Wednesday, the men's basketball team endured a very close loss Saturday to Northwest Missouri State, 51-52. This brings their record to 8-10 on the season. Their next game is tonight against Lincoln University of Missouri at 7.30 p.m. in White Auditorium. For ticket purchase, go to the Athletic Ticket Office in the Union online or order by phone at 620-341-6378. In track and field news, Emporia participated in mule relays last Saturday with a stellar performance from All-American Andrew Etheridge. Etheridge qualified for nationals with a season best time in the men's 60 meter hurdle at 7.9 seconds. Nikki Wettstein also improved her school record in the women's 60 meter hurdle 
at 8.65 seconds. All-American Sean Richardson also placed second in the 16-meter finals. The next stop for the Hornet track and field is Ames, Iowa, for the Iowa State Open this Saturday. That's all for now. Tune in February 21st for our next installment. Feel free to send suggestions to our website at www.esubulletin.com and our Facebook page. On behalf of the Editor-in-Chief Kenzie Templeton, myself, and the entire Bulletin staff, we'll see you in the square.